Good morning, peers, teachers, and staff, and welcome to this week's edition of the Sabre Roar. I'm Brandon. And I'm Lindsay. Today we have the Roar Store, Relay for Life, and much more. You may have noticed the blue recycling bins around the school. Although we all want a clean environment, this important task wouldn't happen if it wasn't for a group of students who decided it was important. Every Thursday, the Sabre Academy students go around the school and pick up their recycling from each class. Sabre Academy decided that this should be a community project that we could take over and so we decided to do the recycling for the entire school. The custodial staff budget does not support the recycling pickup so this eco-friendly service would go undone if it wasn't for the Sabre Academy. I like to do it because it helps the school. Yeah, um, we split up teachers and um, we do certain routes around the school. We ha even have it like mapped out and everything. Um, especially with the new changes and the new um, additions to the school. The students work as a team to get the recycling done faster. And I like the fact that the kids work together, so one person is kind of taking the bag out, another one's putting it in. They work together on carrying things and helping each other out. The Sabre Academy students want to thank the teachers that help them out and have their recycling out every Thursday. Thank you to the Sabre Academy for making our school green. Despite the recent success, the chess team is one of the least recognized teams at the school. In the past years, the chess team at Franklin High School has been very successful. Last year, with the help of Gavin White, Patrick Hill, and Eric Roberts, the team won the state championship. Really, the level of play we've had the past couple of years is, is phenomenal. We've got three players that, if you were to transfer their ability to something like football ability, they would be two, three, four-star recruits for major football programs. So we've got a, an extreme amount of talent here, and the players are playing very well. The team is off to a great start this season, winning their first four meets. They hope to continue this winning streak in their next meet. Well, there's no doubt that we can repeat for state this year. Uh, we're playing up a level, but we're returning all five varsity starters. Our strongest players from last year have only gotten stronger. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to win. Come cheer on the chess team at their next match. Cheering? Cheering? There's no cheering! There's no cheering in chess! I mean, Brandon, come on, we all know that. <laughs> um, the chess team plans to repeat at State this year. Our school store, also known as the Roar Store, has now reopened in a new venue in the front of the building. Along with a brand new room, the school has a new name, the Roar Store. We're very excited to have, you know, more of a professional looking store. Um, we are open in the morning starting at 710 and then throughout the resource time and then right after school till about 3 o'clock. Also, there are tons of new products that will now be available for purchase in the Roar store. Um, some of the items we have for sale, we have planners in case you've lost your planner and need a new one to start out second semester. We have some healthy snacks. Um, we've got water and orange juice. Um, school supplies, kind of a variety of things that might help you get through your day. A pen or a pencil now and then when you're not on those Chromebooks. And then we have quite a bit of saberware. Um, we have some of the um, kind of uh, traditional school saberware that you can order online. And plus we're going to have a line of our own designs. There are also mugs, hats, water bottles, and other useful items inside of the brand new Roar store. The Roar store is now located across from the TV department, so come check out what's in it. The Relay for Life committee will be hosting a registration event next Tuesday and Wednesday during resource. Make sure to watch next week's edition of the Sabre Roar to see why you should take part in the battle against cancer in FHS's Relay for Life. Here we go, Franklin. Some updates just for you. Let's check it out. This just did. What up, Franklin? This is your boy Malik. I hope every single one of you guys that's watching this right now are having a great Tuesday. And today we're going to be talking about our Winter League Spirit Days, all right? So tomorrow we got Frozen Day coming up. And if you want to, you know, get a top hat or something, maybe a little carrot nose looking like Olaf, maybe dress like Elsie, you know, whatever your thing is, do you, all right? And then Thursday we got Dress Up or Dress Down Day. If you want to look fly like me, you might want to dress up something like this. If you want to dress down, though, <sighs> look like my boy Tom. I, and then Friday, I, we got a Valentine's Day colors, okay? So that means that I need the seniors, I need you guys to wear pink, juniors, you guys wear white, sophomores, I need you guys to wear red, and then freshmen, y'all gotta wear purple, all right? Then, I cannot forget about the Winterloo dance coming up this Saturday, all right? 
So make sure you guys get your tickets after school. You know, get that date, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Deuces. For a list of updates, check out the details below on the YouTube page. Don't miss out on the talent show this Thursday. It only comes once a year. Now to announce this week's uproars. So I nominated Sarah Newman um, for the Sabre Uproar uh, for a couple of reasons. One, she is always participating in class, um, which is really important at level three. She's also the type of student who, is raised, um, who always tries to speak Spanish with the teacher and everybody around her, um, always has her homework done on time, and just, just generally has an awesome attitude. So she deserves it. Hello there, I nominated this young lady because she had an outstanding first semester. She's extremely kind to her classmates and she works really hard. And the biggest reason that I nominated her is because in a couple of months we all get to see her as Mrs. Potts in our first musical in our new Sabre Center. Congratulations, Simra. Congratulations to Simra and Sarah for winning the operas. Have fun at the movies. Well, that's your show. Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday. There's no cheering in chef. I'm Brandon. And I'm Lindsay. Keep cheering, Franklin. <laughs>